Okay, guys, I'm gonna give you some price targets to pay attention to. Um, if we drop, I'm gonna show you exactly where to long. If we push up, I'm gonna show you exactly where to short. So I'm gonna give you some price targets for Bitcoin on a, on a couple charts. We're also gonna cover the Dow Jones, the DXY, a couple other things. If you look up top, I'm having a special today, full lifetime access. Again, it's only available today only, and you can only pay with crypto. So if you want to get in, just one time payment of 349, never have to pay again, you get access to stocks, Bitcoin. All coins, precious metals, Discord, Twitter, tutorials. You get access to everything. One-time payment, but only with crypto. You have to contact me through the contact page of the website. You cannot sign up for that through the website. You have to contact me via email. The link for the website will be pinned in the first comment in the description. Guys, if you do like this content, you know, leave me a like. I appreciate it. And if you don't, well, then this is for you. So let's go over some of these price targets. I'm going to show you why, uh, where your support resistance levels are and why I, I feel very confident if we drop this where you went along. So this was a live stream I did. This was November 10th. I'll put a link up this now if you want to check it out. Let me play a clip of this for you. I have the H1 chart where you're at resistance. If you want a chance to short, I'm listening, guys. If you want a chance to short, this is where you do it right now. Uh, 68,870. You can see we're already coming down from this point. We've got... So and what I said in the stream, I expected the markets to come down, so this would be a likely point to uh, put in a short. We were at resistance on the G1, we were at resistance on the H1, so there's a point to put in a short. How did that play out? How much did we come down? We came down a total of uh, almost 9%. So if, if that was one hell of a short. Either you, If you sold here and bought back here, you did well, or if you shorted this with leverage, you did very well. Uh, the next video, so this one I did on November 10th. I'll put a link up to this video now if you want to check it out. Listen to what I said for your next support level. Okay. Your next support below that to catch a nice bounce would be right here at 63,404. So 63,404, you see this white line here. So let's see what happened. Um, we did drop below it a bit, but notice if you bought here, if you bought right at 63,000, we made contact with this line, we pushed up a total of... 3.71%. Uh, so you had a 9% drop and a 3.71% where we pushed up. So just swing trading, you know, selling here and buying here, you, you did pretty well. But I, I do mention other charts as well. Notice, I always say reference to C1 and H1 chart and the G1 chart. Notice we pushed up to the C1 chart and we got rejected at 65,585. We came down to this point. This is where you should have entered along. Uh, that's what I was talking about here on Twitter. Um, it, again, you have to have access to my, my Twitter to... Um, my Twitter's private. You have to be subscribed to my charts to get access. But I said if you want to enter a quick long, it'd be 63528 We are at support for C1 and H1. That's why I was saying that would be a good point to enter a long. And here I was saying if we break, yellow line below an H1 chart would be a likely point to enter a long. So let me cover this. So if we do drop, uh, so you should already be in your long from the tweet where I said enter a long here. And again, this is just for swing trading, guys. So you know, if we push up to this point, you might want to take your profit. But if we do push up, all right, I can tell you this. This is your next point to get rejected on the H1 chart, 65,948. It's at an angle to potentially make contact. Access to the charts, it's better for you because you know exactly when you hit. Uh, if you get above that, the next point to short will be right up here when you make contact with this yellow line, wherever it's at. And how do I know that? Well, just like I knew that back here. Every time we hit this yellow line, we got rejected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And then we finally broke above it as support and came down to support. What happened when we hit the next yellow line? Well, we got rejected. One, two, three, and then we finally pushed above it and it was support. And you can see this line right here. We got rejected. That was where I was talking about short in that live stream. So if we push up, you know, if we get above at any point, when you make contact with this yellow line, this is where you short. And if we get above this, so I'm gonna give you support and resistance levels, but I'm, I'm just trying to make it very clear. If you access the H1 chart, every time you make contact with this yellow line, this is where you're gonna short. When you finally get above it, where's the next point you're gonna short? Whenever you make contact with this line right here. This would be the next point you, sh you would short every time you make contact. So let me give you support and resistance levels. So currently, again, you should be in a long from this point right now. If you break below this point, I have your stop set just below right here. But the next point you would long will be this yellow line. You can see we found resistance and the came down's perfect support. We dropped below it a bit. So if we come back down, this is where you want to long right here, 62,416. And that probably is on par with this. That's why I say reference to C1 and the H1. So if we come down, look at that, 62,428, 62,416. I do think it's possible we have some upside in the markets today in the morning. And then I think we're going to have further down. So we're going to cover the Dow Jones as well. Your next support level to watch below um, will be this white line right here. This has been a lot of support. So this would be right around 61,590. Your next strongest support level blow to watch would be down here around 57,900-ish. But again, guys, this, this, is a, a, this target 
right here, this line depends when you make contact. So if you have access to the chart, when you hit it, that will be the price. But these are your current support and resistance levels to watch. So if you push up, you want to short 65,969. If you break 63,526, you want to long 62,416. If that breaks, you would long 61,590 up to right here around 63,781. And again, the, this is uh, your current resistance on the C1 chart, 66,000. If 63,824 breaks, again, this is on par with the H1 chart. The Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones has been coming down, guys. I told you when markets are up, Bitcoin will be up. When the markets are down, Bitcoin comes down. Uh, Wall Street is tied into Bitcoin. Bitcoin's tied into Wall Street. So you need to look at the DXY. You need to look at U.S. markets if you want to get a good idea where Bitcoin's headed. I think we have a lot of downside with the markets. We could push up from this point a bit, but I think ultimately we are coming down much lower. I told you this red ring was an indicator of a black swan event. I know, I know by definition, you know, black swan is something you can't predict. I beg to differ. I think you can. I think we have a lot more downside. I, I know that some people are talking about seasonally um, November through December is, is very bullish for the markets. I think this is a hell of a bull trap. I think a lot of people believe that. They're going to be doing a lot of call options and longing, expecting this to go higher. And I think it's just going to just plummet. But again, that's what I believe. It's not financial advice. I have puts on the Dow. Um, I'm currently right at in the money. I did do another short. But again, I, I did some shorts early on because... I wanted to get in when they were really cheap. But anyways, guys, I do think we're coming down. And you can see right now, we're currently up 56 points after market trading for the Dow. Uh, this is just another example of what I'm trying to show you. Uh, if you notice right here, notice when we hit this, um, this, this green ring, notice we pushed the wick above it. We, we were above it, and we dropped back down below it. Um, this has happened previously. Notice this white ring, we were above it, we dropped down below it. So I think the same thing is playing out. Um, we were just, we were above it right now. We we were above it to this point, and then we dropped down. So I think before this month closes, we're going to be down around uh, thirty four thousand one hundred fifty four. The DXY guys, the DXY is pushing up. The DXY pushing up means smart money's jumping out of stocks into the U.S. dollar. Your current resistance for the DXY is ninety five point forty two. You notice we got a rejection here. This is a great thing about these charts I have. Uh, this is this is a chart I created a while back. Notice we're getting rejected right at this white ring right here. You see we, we make contact and we're getting rejected. So we could have a little bit of downside, possibly to support before we push higher. Again, that's what I'm saying. We could have some upside with um, with the markets today. A little downside with the US dollar before it pushes higher. Uh, the SPY, uh, you can see that you know it's been coming down. Uh, your next support for the, um, the S&P 500 is going to be right down here around potentially 4,632. That will be this line right here. And if that, depending on when you make contact, your next strongest support you can see right here. Again, all of your support resistance levels are already mapped out, the NASDAQ, S&P, and the Dow. But 4,623 is your next strongest support. If that breaks, again, if we break this line, I think we're coming down much lower, but your next support will be down here around 4,583. If we push up, your resistance to watch is going to be right here at 4,664. Um, let's see, that you know, S&P 500, this is another chart of the S&P 500. I think it's very possible we're going to be coming down. Um, you notice when we crossed this blue ring, it was support, support. And then we, we pushed up, so I think it's possible we might move down this ring. So we could come down and test uh, 455. If that breaks, again, I think it's possible. We'll just kind of move down this ring like previously. If we push up, your next strongest resistance on this chart is going to be up here around 486. But guys, these are your support and resistance levels. Remember, if we push up, point you want to short, 65,969. If the markets push up today, and again, if, if we break above this point, this is your current resistance right here. So if you get above this point, expect more upside, at least to 65,969. Uh, again, if we drop, this will be a point to put in along, 62,416. And again, if you want to take advantage of that lifetime option, guys, just um, contact me through the, the contact page on the website. If you just want to sign up monthly, you can do that. Just click on subscribe. Stocks monthly is $59 a month. Tutorials to teach you this method of charting I came up with. To create the chart for yourself is $179. And if you want to access Bitcoins, all coins, uh, precious metals, Discord, and Twitter, that's $49 a month. Guys, that's it. So the next video, trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.